upstairs. <laughs> thank you. That was James shouting thank you instead of using the microphone. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, thanks for coming out. Woo! Yay! Hi, my name is Jacob McFadden. And I'm James Brooks. Together, we are... Friends. And... <laughs> companions. And... Co-workers? And... Partners! There we go. We also started this together. Wink. Alright, fuck you guys. <laughs> hey, we started the show down here. Isn't that fantastic? How many weeks going? Seven. Seven. Seven weeks. <laughs> Alright, James, start the show. Sure, sure. Alright, <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to be your MC for the night. Um, just a few things. Uh, quickly, if you want to have a conversation, most of you guys are, have been here before, friends of ours, so um, if you guys want to have a conversation, just go upstairs, hang out, we can't hear you. Just basically don't fuck up anybody when they're up here. Um, also, too, uh, there's, there's a great beer special. Yes, there is, James. It's Shop Top mm -hmm. Wheat IPA. It's 2.50 during happy hour, which lasts for another hour. That's right, and it's 3.50 during regular hours. So it's cheap. It's one of the cheapest beers here, isn't it, James? I believe that's correct, Jacob McFadden. Oh, thank you, James Brooks. <laughs> yep. So, um, moving on. Yeah, that's basically it's going to be the night. I hope you guys have a great time. Uh, we're gonna, we have some first-timers out tonight, um, so pay them the best respect that you can. It's a great art form that I love doing, so um, let's kick the night off by bringing up your first person, who is... Miss Tyra Robinson. Alright, coming up right now, I'm not gonna waste anyone's time. Coming up to the stage right now. I've hung out with them Labor Day, Memorial Day. One of those One of those one of those bullshit holidays. Um, coming up to the stage right now, Ryan Lee. Alright, coming up right now, after that is going to be a guy by the name, one word, Maxwell. Alright, I'll just take that. Oh, wow. And that's what. Oh, yeah, yeah thank you. Jim Thompson. Alright, everybody, how's it going, everybody? Doing good tonight? Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Keep it down back there. Put your pants back on. Uh, my name is Josh Maxwell. Everybody calls me Max, or, you know, like that rudderless drifter, that hippie guy. Um, a lot of guys, uh, they think it's funny to make fun. Yeah, you think that shit's funny to make fun of guys like me? Yeah, yeah. I want to tell you guys right now, I am not now, nor have I ever been, a Geico Caveman. So you can keep all of those to yourself. Um, another one of the insults that I get often is, uh, like, Tarzan. Which I gotta tell you, it's not really, not really an insult. Not really, not sad about it. You know, the guy didn't have a job, and yet he did pretty well, you know? You know, he hit, like, you know, the jungle gym every day. That was pretty cool. You know, swing a lady back to his treetop manor. I mean, sure, it's covered in, like, dog shit. But, you know, I can pick that up. There's probably not a lot of dogs in the jungle, though. Oh, shit. Anyway, what are you drinking? Uh, it's a... It's a... Oh, the Big Lebowski, that's right. Yeah, the dude bites, the dude bites, the dude bites. I dig. I dig. Anyway, um, a little bit about me. I am new to the Richmond area. Uh, I've only been here about two months. I like it. It's cool. You guys got a little, like, some weird things, though, that I've noticed. Um. You have a sign here, like, most places they have like a caution children playing sign, or a slow children at play, you know, and this little kid chasing the ball. You have a sign here that says, we love our children, please drive carefully. And I thought this is, uh, number one, like, really fucking pretentious, like, oh, you love your kid, yeah, like, I'm gonna stop texting while I'm driving, I don't think so. And the other thing is, is like, if you didn't love your kid, am I allowed to, like, mow a few of them down, you know? Tommy? Tommy? Right here, young man. I thought I told you to clean up your room. Don't make me go take down that sign out there. You know what happened to your sister? Now run along and get your shit together. Daddy doesn't want to have the statue start over from scratch. Um, yeah, I don't think that that makes it legal either, you know? I mean, the fact that you don't love your kids. Uh, you, like, you'd never see this kind of thing like a, like a lieutenant. You call me at this early hour in the morning. What the hell is going on here? Well, it's been a car accident. There's... This entire car wreck, little children everywhere. This asshole was IMDBing stuff on his phone, spilled coffee on his pants, tried to take him off, and he jumped the curb, crashed in this playground, killed all these children. My God, the carnage! 
<laughs> have you guys identified the bodies? Have you got in touch with their parents? Oh, I'm, they're, they're orphans, sir. They don't, no one to contact, no. Oh. Oh, all right. Open and shut case. That sounds good. That's right. Now tell him to back that jalopy out of here. My fucking children play here. <laughs> Should be more careful. Yeah. Um. See, uh, the hairdo. You guys wouldn't be completely wrong with the hippie. Yeah, that laughing at that was funny because I used to do a lot of drugs, you know, and uh, and I figured what better way to uh, quit doing drugs than to keep all the trappings of a drug, you know? Like, yeah, I mean, like this vest and everything like that. There's no reason for it. Um, and one of the reasons I quit was that uh, I found that like some of the simplest things in life, the things that you just should do, the things that you like, you know, shouldn't be able to do no matter what. I was having a hard time doing, and here's one. Of them. And it's about to get blue, folks, so you guys can just, you know, you know, do the earmuffs thing if you don't like it. I was masturbating once, and while I was doing, you know, it's getting like hot and heavy in my head, you know, Kate back in sales dancing around, she's talking to me, you know, doing that thing girls do when they're, there's like a pole all of a sudden in my room and she's dancing on it. And I realized like a minute or two into it that uh, I'm now thinking like some weird thoughts, you know, like, man, oh. Okay, back in the Oh my god, that's right, underworld. Mm -hmm. Wanna see your underworld this right, baby? And then all of a sudden it's like, I haven't been to a family reunion in like forever. Oh my god, I bet my grandma is missing the hell out of me. I'll tell you what I'm missing though. Her sweet potato pie, grandma makes some sweet. And now here I am with my junk in my hand. And one of the most disgusting things you've like, really, if you look in on it on yourself, it's sad. You know, you would stop. I mean, I don't, but that's, you know, that's more my thing than anyone else's. And then you just continue, or at least I did, to just oh, fucking get back on track. That's right. All right, what was I thinking of? Oh, I'm so fucking high. This is ridiculous. All right, all right, let's backtrack here. Uh, sweet potato pie. My grandma. My grandma's pie. No, no, not my grandma's pie. No, not my grandma's pie. Family reunion. Family reunion. And now you feel disgusting. And you can't look at them, so you're like, I'm never fucking going back to that family reunion. I don't want to, I don't want to talk to them about that. <laughs> How's it going? That is, that is just a cute top you have there. That's right. That's a delightful ensemble. What a smart little top that is. That's cute. Mm -hmm. That's my Tim Gunn impression, just so you know. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. That come the other stare, mmm, that look that lures me there, it's witchcraft. <laughs> that's right, lounge singing, that's what I've resorted to now. Yeah, I'm just so befuddled with your own enchanting. Mm, that's great. Um, I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys with this thought. Uh, here's a company that I, uh, I wanted to uh, start up. I'm gonna call it Wingman Hype Men Incorporated. That's fucking right, it's gonna be all legal and shit, that's right, yeah. And W-2s and everything. And here's what'll happen. You'll call up my company, and you'll tell us that you need our services. And, um, you, sir, that's right, yeah, the dude. What, what is your Christian name, if you don't mind? What is your name? Thomas. Thomas what? Yeah. Thomas Vu. This is how it'll go down, Thomas Vu. <laughs> you will show up at a bar, you'll call me and tell me when. I will hang out at the bar while you walk around, you pick a lady you like, alright? You walk up to her, bump into her, you know, you seem like a very charming, dashing young man. I mean, I love that button you have there on the pill, and that's great. And then you'll say something like, oh, I'm so sorry, let me buy you another drink. By the way, my name is Thomas Vu. <laughs> and you go through that crap, and then you just very demurely walk away, alright? Fifteen seconds later, I will follow right up behind her, I'll be like, oh my fucking god. Was that Thomas Vu? And she'd be like, yeah. Who the fuck's that? Oh my god. They said he would be here tonight, but I didn't fucking think he they meant fucking right here. That is goddamn Thomas Vu. And she'd be like, oh, oh my god. I, yeah, I was talking to him. He seemed like a nice guy. What's he famous for? In upstate New York, there was an orphanage fire. <laughs> He saved four of those little bastards. That's right. Risk life and limb. He didn't give a shit what happened to him. Just ran in there and be like, oh my god, Thomas Vill. And then we will come up with an entire backstory for it. On Facebook, we'll make a bunch of fake Facebook characters and they'll be like, Thomas Vu is the baddest motherfucker ever. Now, the sad part of it is though, we can only go so far, Thomas Vu. So you might want to start drinking some more manly drinks when you're at the bar just so you can help us sell these. Now, I'm sure that that is delicious. But it looks like 
mm, warm cum, and I really just don't think that's the kind of look you need to That's right, folks. I'm going to leave it on an insult in the audience. You guys are all welcome. Thank you very much, guys. That's my time. Don't forget to take your bartenders and waitresses. They're working hard, so you don't have to. Huh? Maxwell, everybody! One more time! Alright, before I get tangled up. Um, I'm gonna tell one story before I bring the next comic up. Uh, cause I, I thought about it just randomly, um, after a couple beers. That, um, how many of you guys go to VCU? Some woo, some hands. Like, the majority of you guys. Um, I think we can all agree that with, with VCU being in the middle of Richmond, um, a lot of weird shit happens on campus. Some of it your fault, some of it isn't. I have two stories for you. One, totally being my fault. The other one, not my fault whatsoever. The first one, um, it doesn't help going to school in a city, like downtown. Um, this was a year ago. I was leaving Temple. Um, for those of you who don't go to VCU, that is not religious whatsoever. That's a fucking building um, where classes are held. And I was leaving Temple, and it was pouring down rain. It was one of those, like, uh, 7 to 9, 40 classes, you know, the ones that you try to avoid, but you just have to take it. And um, when I was leaving, it was pouring down rain, really dark, and uh, it was just a shitty day. I failed a class, like, failed a test, and uh, I put my hood up. I was digging for my keys, walked to the parking deck, and um, I carry a knife on me because I go to VCU. It makes total sense. I'm seeing a whole lot of nods. <laughs> uh, and as I pulled out my thing of keys, my knife was hooked, interlaced into all the keys. So I start bending and twisting and doing everything I can to try to separate them. I'm just saying, you know, fuck this day, fuck this day, fuck this day. And I'm walking, not even looking up towards the parking deck, and all of a sudden, just in a fit of rage, I just separate everything. The knife flips open, and I look up, standing in front of the most terrified businessman ever. <laughs> because all he sees is a slightly tan guy holding a knife in a hood and pouring down rain next to a parking garage. And then of course, in a lot of you guys go to VCU, the streetlight flickered off at that worst moment possible. And it just went dark. And he's just standing there with an umbrella and a three-piece suit, just shaking. And I'm committed. I mean, I'm already there with the knife. So the first thing that come to, uh, came to my mind was, Give me your shoelaces! <laughs> and he did. <laughs> and I said thank you and ran around the other side, because it'd be awkward if I just walked to my car <laughs> after committing a horrible robbery of his shoes. <laughs> so that was my fault. The second one, I was sitting out, it was actually last spring semester, I was sitting outside, Enjoying the nice day, it was kind of like a day like this, sunny, warmer, um, and I was reading a George Carlin book. A lot of you comedians love me a lot more for that. Uh, Nate Palm and Silly Putty, I recommend it. And um, as I'm sitting there, just minding my own business, out of nowhere, a muffin hits me in the face. Out of nowhere. And all of a sudden I look up, and it's one of these kind of douchey, artsy, kind of like you, but I like you, but you know, we kind of... <laughs> I mean, he kind of looks like you. I'm not saying anything against you, it's just, you know, the hat and glasses and plaid. You look great. But that guy was a douchebag. And, um, and he threw this muffin at me, and it was like a cinnamon swirl, so it hit me and just went, and just exploded into like cinnamon shrapnel. And I was totally confused. I have no idea why it was. Apparently, he had mistaken me for someone he thought he knew. So instead of saying hi, Breakfast muffin. <laughs> and that was this whole thought process. And you're like, have you ever been just so mad, just so confused and mad at the same time, you have no idea what the fuck to say in that current situation, so you just kind of stand there like... <laughs> and he shrugged and walked away like I was the piece of shit. Like it wasn't, my, it was all my fault that I was sitting there on a brick paver reading a fucking book and that deserved to have a muffin thrown at me. And that's why, like I said, I like you, but anyone that looks like you, I've continuously just started throwing muffins at you, so if that happens to you, it's not you. I'm trying to get revenge on that one douchebag, and pretty soon I'll get it someday, somehow. All right, that's, uh, those are my two stories for the night.
probably have some more later. But um, are you guys having a good time? Yeah. 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 What was that? Did he leave? I thought he was upstairs. Don't talk about it. We have live feed going upstairs. Everyone can hear this right now. You know how awkward this is for me? I'm on mic. Ooh. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> you didn't have to acknowledge it. No, um, for those of you who just walked in, I guess uh, they wanted me to run down some drink specials. Um, so to kill a little bit of time, too. Because, fuck, it's still really early. <laughs> what time is it? 8.37, holy shit. Um, they actually have this new draft upstairs. It's um, Shock Top, but not that bullshit citrusy shit. It's um, it's Wheat IPA. So beer aficionados will know whatever the fuck that meant. Um, so just get it. It's it's two fifty for another half an hour, and then three fifty after that. It's one of the cheapest beers they have on draft. And was it eight cocktails for eight bucks? Was that eight cocktails for eight bucks? Boom! And don't forget how great the pizza is. The pizza is fantastic. <laughs> Ask this lovely couple in the corner. They're eating it right now. James, what else is fantastic? And comes in a bowl. The wings, of course. James, did you tell them about the new stupendous sauce made with ghost chili peppers? Nope. It's super hot, but it's still got a great flavor. It's really hot. Do you guys know what they do with ghost chilies? They grind them up in a powder and put them in riot grenades in India. So eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> All totally true. But yeah, no, eat the wings because they're great, they're fantastic. I've had them a bunch. Uh, and the pizza's great too. But I'm not going to waste any more hey, time, over. which I probably already have. But hey, you learn something in India. Um, coming up to stage right now. Um,